There's a growing debate on whether it's safe to send students back to school in person this fall. Big 2's Marco Ramirez spoke with two local teachers to get their thoughts on this upcoming school year. He joins us now live with more on this. Are these teachers ready, Marco? One teacher says she's ready to go back to school, and another one it says she's not because it's just too soon to go back in person. As things stand now, I do not think it's safe to go back to school in person. Veronica Valdez says she loves teaching art to her students at Hector County ISD, but as COVID-19 cases continue to grow locally, she doesn't want to put her students' health at risk. We don't know how it affects younger people, older people. We don't know what the long-term effects are. So, you know... Oh, it's just, it's the old adage to say it, we're better safe than sorry. Even though COVID-19 poses a threat to the school year, Valdez hopes to return to the classroom in person. Do I want to go back in person? Absolutely, 100%. Especially as an art teacher, it's very, very difficult to do art projects through, you know, electronically. But by putting students in the classroom this fall, Valdez says it will be difficult to have them social distance. I know how the kids are, and they don't have the kind of self-control that it takes to sit still and just stay within their one little cubicle that they're going to have. You know, they just don't. While the district is giving the option to attend classes in person, Ector County ISD teacher Christy Patrick says it's possible to get students to follow safety guidelines. Kids are teachable. They're moldable. They're going to do whatever their teacher asks for the most part. Um, if, you know, you look at it from a safety point of view, I think the kids will definitely adhere to that. And with COVID-19 still active, Patrick says she trusts her district will keep herself and her students safe this year. I'm ready to be back with my kids. I'm ready to be back with my coworkers. I know that the district, the teachers, the staff, they have the safety of our kids at their top priority. And while Edford County ISD is planning to offer both in-person and online classes, that could all change if the outbreak worsens. And the district is asking all their teachers to be prepared to switch to an entire virtual instruction if they have to. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Marco Ravides, Big 2 News. All right, Marco. Some teachers ready, some not. Thank you.